Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for the class of 2021 at Central Piedmont Community College. Allow me to be the first to say congratulations to the class of 2021. You may please be seated. Also at this time, would you please take a moment to silence all of your electronic devices. Today, let's pause to have a moment of silence to remember those in the college and our community, our fellow citizens of America and around the world who were lost, those who have suffered loss and those who were impacted by the coronavirus. Please pause for a moment of silence. Let us pray. Almighty God, a mighty God of sunshine and rain, we pray for guidance and direction for these new graduates. Help them to have a tender heart to recognize your spirit's leading and to clearly hear when and how you choose to speak. We pray for courage and faith to realize the endless possibilities before them and their families. In these unprecedented times, it is easy to fall into feelings of anxiety However, these graduates are more than conquerors as proven by their accomplishments at CP. We pray that you would continue to fill graduates with courage and care and with the full knowledge that you are working behind the scenes in their lives. Thank you for giving us a spirit of boldness, of love, and of a sound mind. Now God, we pray that they will not lose heart when things look dim, but they will hold firm to faith that your timing is perfect and that you are a detailed planner, and that you know the plans that you have for their futures. Thank you for allowing CP's administration, faculty, and staff to be part of their divine destiny for these graduates. This is our prayer. Amen. On behalf of Central Piedmont Student Government Association, welcome to the 2021 Commencement Ceremony. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Ed Dalrymple. I am the chair of the Board of Trustees here at Central Piedmont and would like to welcome you to this very special ceremony. Uh, the good news for you is that you're missing out on the rain that we had this morning. You get the cold, but not the rain. So let's just hope that it holds off. Uh, you are gathered here as uh, in the audience. I want you to know that we feel like you have received the best community college education in the United States. And we're very excited about that. Now let me introduce those who are seated behind me on stage. Please hold your applause until they've all been introduced. Uh, please stand as your name is called. Dr. Candy Dietermeyer, President. Mr. Marco Giardo Cuervo, Associate in Applied Science, Welding Technology and Graduate, and your commencement speaker for this afternoon. Mr. Richard Kugelman, Dean, Skill Trades and Public Service. Tabisha Patel, Student Government Association Vice President, and also the 2021 Academic Excellence Award winner. Dr. Heather Hill, Vice President, Academic Affairs. Dr. Owen Sukowski, President, College Senate and Instructor Communications. Dr. Tracy Moore, Associate Dean, Education Support. Dr. Mary Margaret Cantor, Associate Dean, Education and Training. You may be seated.
Good afternoon. This is a celebration, so I'll try that again. Good afternoon, new graduates. How about that? As the chairman said, we are gracious, grateful that all of you are here and to your families. Uh, this morning was not only a little cold and chilly, all the umbrellas under your chairs were up and it was, it was raining. So um, thank you for being here. We, um, we look forward to celebrating with you. So it is a celebration. And so while I've given you a moment to, to get in the mood, um, let me try again. Congratulations, new graduates. I hope that you are excited to be here. I know it's cold, so I'm going to allow you the privilege uh, for just a minute. Go ahead and stand up, take a look, find your family, um, and give them a praise of, and could thank you for all they've done as you've journeyed through Central Piedmont. So uh, now that you've uh, warmed up a little bit, thank you again uh, for entrusting us with your journey. And I want to just say to you how proud I am and excited uh, that you've journeyed with us and completed your degree, your diploma or certificate here at Central Piedmont Community College. I could not be more proud. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Central Piedmont, it is really my distinct honor to say we are thrilled for each and every one of you. And like your family and friends, those gathered here today, but certainly I'm sure those who could not be with us, we are so very proud of you and all that you have accomplished. Like we do every year, I thought um, you might like to know a little bit about yourselves so that we could really truly celebrate your high powered and distinct um, honors. The class of 2021 includes 2,430 graduates. That deserves a round of applause. Not only are you many in a number, you are also a very distinguished class with an average grade point average of 3.498. So as I told the chief academic officer earlier, I'm gonna round that up to about a 3.5 and she'll excuse me because the math person in her probably wouldn't want me to do that. She would want you to just achieve it, but I'll take that as a 3.5, how about you? Great accomplishment, absolutely. Nearly 800 plus of you have chosen to walk in one of our five historic outdoor graduation ceremonies. It truly is historic. We, uh, being on campus rather than at Bojangles Coliseum, being outside uh, on, the, on the plaza, on the front line of Overcash is history being made today. And certainly after the year you've had, yours is one for the records book and well-deserved. I also want to recognize specifically our college and career readiness, adult high school, next gen, and high set graduates. I hear a little clap. Yes, let's do that. Congratulations. Um, they're, they're egging you on a little bit. Congratulations on completing this extremely important first step here at Central Piedmont. We're proud of you as well. And we hope that you'll consider staying with us to pursue that certificate, diploma, or degree, to continue to invest the time and the effort into yourselves, really, as you move toward a better and more meaningful career. Therefore, I welcome you to this graduation ceremony. I also welcome your family and friends, as we did a little bit um, earlier. And I want to just say to the family and friends, job well done. Thank you, all of you, um, for supporting our graduates in this journey. Let's give them another round of applause. We want to congratulate you as well. This is a family accomplishment um, or a friend accomplishment or the supporter that you are as well. There will forever be a tie that binds this class of 2021. I bet I could get a big nod out of that. You always will be known as the Central Piedmont class that had to persevere through a worldwide pandemic longer than any other and longer than any of us could have imagined. Many of you have just gotten, had just gotten settled really into the academic rigor and kind of cadence of higher education through your second semester here when the world and really all of our lives changed forever. I know many of you uh, never wanted to take an online class, but you found and suddenly that was your only option and you've done it well. And our appreciation to you for sticking with us and really entrusting uh, the journey that you've had. You hung in there and you stuck with us and you really made a path for yourself. I know that it wasn't easy and it wasn't what you had planned, but I just want you to take a moment and look at yourselves now, not only individually, but collectively. 
and think about the strength that you've gained. You know without a doubt that you're a person of substance that can face adversity and yet keep moving forward. You have been an inspiration to all of us. Please stand up and give yourselves another round of applause because you've well deserved it. It'll also let you get a little warm again. And we wanna just continue to celebrate your accomplishments, offer you a well-rounded applause, and remind you that I said this group um, 3.498, so congratulations. You may be seated. Each of you had to make your own path to be here today. Each of you had to overcome some obstacles and perhaps a setback or two. But you persisted and you've kept the faith. The degree, diploma, or certificate you have earned signifies you now have more than knowledge. I hope that you would agree with that. It's more than knowledge that you've gained at Central Piedmont. You now have skills and you have the ability and the willingness to work hard and achieve a goal. You can absolutely make things happen. You can conquer possibility. You are the future of this great community. Among you are 309 new healthcare graduates, and they have definitely found out what life can, can hand you. So our 309 healthcare graduates, thank you so much. You are gonna serve and have served a great need. Could you give them a round of applause? They've endured a lot as well. Also graduating this week, 201 business students who will strengthen our local economy, likely go to work in one of these great towers and businesses behind us. We also have 70 construction technology graduates who will play an important role in the future growth and development of our region. We have 80 information technology graduates who themselves achieved a, graduate, a GPA of 3.41. Pretty incredible. They will go out and make all of our industries better. Almost 1,400 of you will transfer to a four-year college or a university to continue your studies. We wish you well in your pursuit of a bachelor's degree and beyond. And we know that all of you carry Central Piedmont in your heart wherever you go. You represent the brand, and I hope you'll wear it well. All combined, this class of 2021 represents a wonderful, determined, and skilled talent pipeline ready to make this community an even better place to live and work. Each of you has a story to tell, and I encourage you to share it. Tell others of your experience at Central Piedmont. Tell them hard work and determination with love of family and friends, and the support of your exceptional faculty and advisors will lead to your great success. The journey wasn't easy, but it was definitely, I hope you would say, worth the effort. So I love a good story, and I love our students and I appreciate the journey each one of you have been on. And when I told you earlier to share your story, I will tell you, you're about to hear an incredible one. It's been our tradition during my tenure over the last few years to welcome one of our students to be the graduate or commencement speaker. This year, we are proud to welcome a graduate of our welding technology program. Let's hope they don't stop at one of our buildings. <laughs> and this is your moment, so I hope you're okay that I paused. It's your celebration. What's another minute? This year, we are proud to welcome, as I said, a graduate of our welding technology program, Marco Gallardo Cuervo. Marco came to Central Piedmont to gain an in-demand skill. He says he always loved creating things and as an active diver, was intrigued by the opportunity that might exist underwater in industrial welding. But Marco's love for learning and his education extended beyond the welding lab. He was a fixture at the Harper campus. He took every opportunity to meet new students. He made efforts to explore his own leadership development, and he always, always had a good, a good opportunity for sharing an inspiring word with others, just as we'll hear from him today. With the class of 2021, please welcome, and as I introduce our graduate speaker, Marco Gallardo Cuervo. Marco? Thank you very much, Dr. Dietemar. And good afternoon, graduating class of 2021. Let's hear it.
It's a little chilly, it's a little wet, but it's ours. And today, we have so much to celebrate. We are gathered today to recognize the efforts and achievements of all of us who have donned a cap and gown. But today, this ceremony is not about a finite piece of paper. Today, this ceremony is about us, both men and women who boldly charge ahead in pursuit of their dreams. And we also celebrate with gratitude and appreciation all of those who have paved a way for us. The events over the course of the past year have been challenging, to say the very least. And as they develop and unfolded, most of us were reminded of how much we have. And although sometimes all we have is nothing, that's when there's enough to go around. We were shown the true priorities in this temporary life, and we learned that we cannot control everything and that no life can escape being blown about by the winds of change and chance. And though we may never know all the steps, we must learn to join the dance. Today, we recognize the determination and resilience of the students within the college and career readiness programs. The sheer force of your will alone has pushed you through strife and forward into success. Stand proudly knowing that your dedication is one of example and virtue that cannot be broken. Your value is not measured by ink on paper, but rather by your perseverance and by your heart. You did not give up. You did not give in. And we are all so very proud. Today, we also recognize those honest and hardworking men and women of the skilled trades programs. The world sits and marvels at all the comfort, innovation, and technology of the modern world. Yet few of us know how those secrets and comforts came to be. The strength of our backs have built the wonders of society. The sweat on our brows are testimony of knowledge that no textbook holds. And the calluses on our hands will tell the story of the world we leave our children. We also owe a debt of gratitude to all of those who have built us throughout our lives. The faculty, staff, and administration of this college are our esteemed mentors, and I hope the world will see a little bit of them in each of us. I remember my first welding class, 7 a.m. sharp, and when I saw my instructor, Mr. Raymond, the velvet cowboy, Sasko, put on his welding hood and his welding jacket, I thought to myself, damn, that's one cool cat. Today, I stand corrected. He's the coolest of them all. And I could say amazing things about the entirety of the welding department because to me, they're not just faculty. They're my friends. I was always taught to leave a place better than what I found it like. And as I grew, so did the relevance of this lesson. I am blessed to have a mother and father who have always sacrificed their all in order to provide the best for me and my siblings. The biggest example has been immigrating into this country through a cultural exchange visa. And so I became a guest and I played my part well. And like many of you, I'm sure we've all felt that feeling of belonging and sometimes the lack thereof. But regardless, if we feel like we don't fit in anywhere, or we can squeeze in just about everywhere, one thing is for certain, we're better off together. In Mexico, we say, jalando juntos, jalamos más parejo. This means, together, we pull more even, we pull better. I have seen this before. When I am welcomed into this country, time and time again, after, with, by all different kinds of people, back home, when the earth shakes and mountains split in half, yet we're all there, standing firm, holding steady. And like many of you, I have witnessed rough stormy seas, but also clear blue skies. And although we don't know where we're exactly going in the many different paths that we will take, as we enter the forge of life with all its blazing glory and the clamor of its mighty hammer, we become stronger, purer, and like the different metals that join and become one, we are better off together. Ladies and gentlemen, let me end with this. In the cold, 
and then in the rain. This is our moment. This feeling you are feeling right now of glory and of pride is not new. We have felt it before and it will never get old. We will feel it again in our future endeavors. So today, in the name of our friends, in the name of our mentors, in the name of our families, in the name of our countries and of God, laid out before us is not just a finish line, it's a horizon. This isn't just a race, it's a journey and it's all ours, not for the taking, but for the giving, just as many others have given on to us during our time here. We are the makings of the future. God bless you all, the undaunted class of 2021. Thank you, Marco, for your inspiring story that you shared with us this afternoon. Many of our graduates have overcome challenges to be here today. They have balanced job duties and family responsibilities along with their schoolwork. They have persisted and even excelled in their studies. Students wearing gold sashes are members of Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society. This society is the overarching honor society for all others here at the college. Will those students please stand to be recognized? Thank you. Your program includes a list of honor societies available to students in particular academic programs and disciplines. If you are a member of any honor society or club, will you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Students who have maintained a 3.5 to 3.69 grade point average out of a possible 4.0 on their academic record are wearing white honor cords around their necks. Please stand as a group to be recognized. Thank you. Students whose grade point average is between 3.7 and 3.99 are wearing purple cords. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Students who have maintained a 4.0 grade point average, straight A's in all of their courses, are wearing gold cords. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Students who are actively serving or our veterans of the United States Armed Forces are wearing red, white, and blue braided cords. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Graduates, you have not reached this important milestone alone. You have important people in your lives who have helped you along in this journey as we mentioned earlier. Some of those have been right here at Central Piedmont as you heard Marco mention. Please give a round of applause if you're so inclined and I know that you will be to your Central Piedmont faculty and to your academic advisors and everyone who has supported you on this journey. We believe that we have the best faculty um, at our college in the nation. And so to you and your family, I know that all of them have provided you tremendous support and encouragement as you've worked towards your goal. We know many of you have worked one or more jobs while going to school. Many of you have continued to care for children and other family members. And many of you have made community service a part of your college experience. And many of you have come to the college after serving in our country's armed forces. So let me just say on behalf of the college, 
we congratulate you. We respect the journey that you've been on, that you've traveled to earn your place among this distinguished group of graduates. At this time, as your president, it is my distinct honor to ask the graduates to please rise. It's always an honor to say by the authority vested in me by the governing board of Central Piedmont Community College, it is my pleasure to confer with all the honors and privileges appertaining thereto, the appropriate degree, diploma, or certificate upon these graduates. As custom dictates, you may now move your tassel to the left side of your cap. And would the audience please join me in congratulating this outstanding group of distinguished graduates. <laughs> graduates, I know you're excited. You may be seated. And so at this time, it's my pleasure to recognize um, the Chief Academic Officer and Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Heather Hill, who will present the graduates. Graduates, as you come across the stage, on my watch, it's your moment. Take your time, enjoy the moment, celebrate, Godspeed. I am very proud of you. Dr. Hill? Dr. Dita Meyer, as the Chief Academic Officer of Central Piedmont Community College, I present these candidates to you on recommendation of the faculty for conferral of degrees and diplomas. Graduates, please remain seated until the volunteer instructs your row to rise and come forward. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our desire that we recognize each graduate by name. Please make your applause brief so that we can hear each name as it is called. Graduates, once you have made your way across the stage, you may exit to Elizabeth Avenue. Your guests are welcome to meet you there. This will help us exit in a safe and socially distanced manner. Diego Saw, Automotive Systems Technology. Brandon Sherrill, Architectural Technology. Christian Sosby, Next Gen. Marilee Veo, Architectural Technology. Tanisha McCain, Cosmetology. Lucas Ayers, Electrical Systems Technology. Kathy Colony, Advertising and Graphic Design. Brandon Lowerman, Construction Management Technology. Melissa Scott Graham, high set. Christina. 
Luis Cristia, Automotive Systems Technology. Christopher P, Cosmetology. Rashid Hakim, Air Conditioning, Heating and Refrigeration Technology. Casey Johnston, Baking and Pastry Arts. Carlos Brenez Diaz, Automotive Systems Technology. Sonia Schenk, Welding Technology. Kelsey Pillsbury, Advertising and Graphic Design. Donovan Moorhead, Automotive Systems Technology. Katie Cantu, Hospitality Management. Selma Muharimovic, Interior Design and Residential Interior Decoration, Home Staging Diploma in Kitchen and Bath Design. Matthew Raylon, Culinary Arts. Latonya Frazier, High Set. Jalen Jennings, Baking and Pastry Arts. Jordan Hauk, Welding Technology. Alyssa Melendez, Advertising and Graphic Design. Ryan Deloach, Horticulture Technology. Reagan Young, Air Conditioning, Heating and Refrigeration Technology. Gerardo Olivero. Fire Protection Technology. <laughs> Melissa Smith, Baking and Pastry Arts. <laughs> Sem Dia Di Mossi. Su Asani, Criminal Justice Technology. Sherlina Blakeney, Criminal Justice Technology. Sean Lewis, Collision Repair and fin Refinishing. Jasmine Gathers, Culinary Arts. Joseph Spears, High Set. Montavious Blocker, High Set.
Brittany Thambro, Baking and Pastry Arts. Aurelia Ariaga Frias, Baking and Pastry Arts. Lisa Harris, Cosmetology. Yomai Martinez, Fire Protection Technology. Nathaniel Meacham, Automotive Systems Technology. Ralph Mason, Adult High School. Erica Roberts, Early Childhood Education Transfer Teacher Licensure. Jasmine Frink, Cosmetology. Delina Ka, Adult High School. Casey Del Pezzo, Interior Design, Residential Interior Decoration and Home Staging. Kayla Romero, Automotive Systems Technology. Leandra Smith, Advertising and Graphic Design. Stephen Wilson, Architectural Technology. Jeremy Bozeman, Culinary Arts. Tasha Frisbee, Advertising and Graphic Design. Beatrice Brown, Beatrice Brown Adult High School. Tiffany Roscoe, GED. James Lasiak, Welding Technology, Entrepreneurial Welding Business and Technical Sales. Emma Palka, Criminal Justice Technology. Michaela Lassiter, Culinary Arts. Joe Bin San, Collision Repair and Refinishing Technology. Haley Myers, GED. Jalen Hancock, Civil Engineering Technology. Kautar Beatty, Architectural Technology. Lori Hamilton, Interpreter Education. <laughs> Julia Conklin, Interpreter Education.
Esta Vujina Pedra Rahita, Interpreter Education. Jeremiah Harry Smith, Automotive Systems Technology. Nigel Salter, GED. Sophie Brandt, Interior Design, Residential and Interior Decoration, and Home Staging. Shakira Roberts, Next Gen. William Ince, Next Gen. Colin Snyder, Automotive Systems Technology. Persida Stultz, Interior Design. Corey Kleinard, High Set. Frank Hamrick, Hospitality Management. James Hooven, Automotive Systems Technology. Mark Farrell plus Alter, Information Technology, Information Assurance, and Digital Forensics. Ann Tinsley, Early Childhood Education. Ashley Braswell, Fire Protection Technology. Ryan Wynn, Advertising and Graphic Design. Spencer Anderson, Electrical Systems Technology, Electrical Design Track. Lorenzo Gregory, High Set. Gregory Byros, Air Conditioning, Heating, and Refrigeration Technology. Peyton Cook, Construction Management Technology. Scott Glover, Culinary Arts. Irene Limo, Baking and Pastry Arts. Catherine Brinker, Baking and Pastry Arts. Shanita Walker, Air Conditioning, Heating and Refrigeration Technology. Deshana Gutierrez, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Shapri Waters, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Paige Coleman, Early Childhood. Lamaya Townsend, Early Childhood Education. Joanne Lynch. 
Joanne Bunch, Early Childhood Education. Desmonda Rigel, Early Childhood Education. Mercy Thompson, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Mary Bennett, Early Childhood Education. Agnes and Carcione, Early Childhood Education. Magracia Stewart, Early Childhood Education. Alexis Brooks, Early Childhood. Kayla Fuller, Medical Assisting. Anna Sage, medical assisting. Oh, sorry. Anna Sage Jones. Lady Esquivel, cosmetology. Edgar Medina Zuniga, construction management technology. Kenya Johnson, Adult High School. Cody Abshare, Welding Technology. Sharita Ray, Criminal Justice Technology. James Greer, high set. Miguel Garcia, criminal justice technology. Jamie Baker, hospitality management. Lauren Smedley, GED. Lucreta Pickney, Early Childhood Education. Jacob Schmid, Automotive Technology. Christina Hill, Construction Management Technology. Woo! Ashley Ava Jackson, Criminal Justice Technology. Ashley Grace Yu, Criminal Justice Technology. Chandler Hull, Non-Destructive Examination Technology and Welding Technology. Daniel Gonzalez, I said. Abigail Gonzalez, I said. Min Ho, Automotive Systems Technology. Marley Troy, Baking and Pastry Arts. A 
April Atkinson, Cosmetology. Denisha Freeman, Early Childhood Education. Yeah. Hilda Asamoa, GED. Tanya Farrar, Culinary Arts. Cynthia Johnson, Next Gen. Miller Pasquale, Criminal Justice Technology. Sabara Ganey, Adult High School. Travis Macaluso, Non-Destructive Examination Technology. Deborah Santos Pinto, Early Childhood Education. Aliyah Rivera, Baking and Pastry Arts. Rollin Balboa, Baking and Pastry Arts. Natasha Bradley, Natasha Bradley Culinary Arts. Sabrina Baez, Graphic Arts and Imaging Technology, Flexography. Cindy Munoz, Interior Design, Residential Interior Decoration, and Home Staging. Zayihab Sharif. Zayihab Sharif, GED. Anna Avenician, Architectural Technology. Awais Khan, High Set. Christopher Oxentine, Criminal Justice Technology. Wafa Hameen, Early Childhood, Early Childhood Transfer. Kelsey Red, Culinary Arts. Janae Kelly, Early Childhood Education. Ryan Robinette, Diesel and Heavy Equipment Technology. <laughs> Stephen Padilla, Culinary Arts. <laughs> Yusef Robles, Baking and Pastry Arts. On Gizui Tayo, Automotive Systems Technology. Antoinette Bright, Advertising and Graphic Design. Jamie Frazier, GED.
Minta Silvaggio, GED. Larcy Howard, Early Childhood Education. Leisha Wyman, Advertising and Graphic Design. Jordan Graham, Adult High School. And another one. Brian Uribe Garcia. Ruby Bonilla Rodriguez. Antonio Moss, Hospitality Management. John Murphy the Fourth, Adult High School. Lajay Key, Cosmetology. That's my baby. Takisha Tolbert, Yay! I said. Otisia Bryan, Architectural Technology. Dixie Ann Mark, Hospitality Management. <laughs> Alini Alamu, GED. <laughs> Nigatu Casa, GED. Aliyah Wint, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Keisha Brown, Adult High School. <laughs> Diamond Cox, GED. Travis Mack, Adult High School. Marcy Casares, Associate Degree Nursing. Tavisha Patel, Associate in Arts. Marco Gallardo Cuervo, Welding Technology, Construction Pipe, and Heavy Maintenance Welding. Shakoye Massey, GED. Well, I would like to extend my gratitude and appreciation for all of you and our platform guests for being here today. Thank you and congratulations to the graduating class of 2021.